Bond. Bond. Well, hello, friends. Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are once again playing on our Chaos map, and uh, we are back for episode two. And uh, as you can see, we seem to have gotten a bit of a wandering horde there. Kind of a rough way to start, but that's all right. Oh, shoot. Did we sprain our arm? That is a, a big old bummer. No, it's a sprained leg. Uh, just as bad. Let's clean these guys up real quick and uh, get into it. There we go, all cleaned up. All right, let's go heal up what we can. Uh, we can't do anything about the sprained leg other than not run on it, but we can use a bandage and some honey to uh, get all this goodness cleaned up. And it looks like we don't actually have any bandages. We don't have a whole lot going for us yet. Uh, so we're just gonna have to deal with that abrasion until we can find a bandage. I think there is a POI over here that I want to raid, a crack -a book, and I don't have anything better in mind to do, so let's just kind of head over to there. Ah, there it is. Okay, it's part of this, uh, this chain. It's like one giant POI. And my goals for today are to try and get a pickaxe crafted, find a wrench, and not die. <laughs> I would like to get those tools uh, added to our arsenal of stuff. Let's go ahead and pick this safe. There we go, not so bad. Uh, level 2 wooden bow. Not worth it at all. Uh, I think we have some skill points to spend, so let's do that real quick. And thinking about it, I think we're just going to go double pack mule there. Let's see how much of our inventory has opened up. Quite a bit. I think one more point into pack mule. We'll open up three more. And then uh, I got most of the stuff out to craft some pocket mods. Uh, we're just short on cloth, and that'll open up an additional three slots. And then our inventory will be pretty much all the way opened up. Just a couple slots left. And uh, that'll just be a good thing, since obviously we are on foot. And not being encumbered encumbered is incredibly helpful. What's up, kid? Stay down. Uh, there's another skill point, so why don't we throw that into... Ba -ba 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 -ba, pack mule. Naisu. Yeah, once we get those pocket mods equipped, we'll only have one slot not unlocked. I'm not actually sure where you're supposed to start this place, but we need to find it soon. Because we're about to have a horde on top of us. Maybe I should go empty out my inventory before we start that place, since it's just right here. Can I use a regular bandage? No, that won't help with the abrasion. It has to be the better version. Whatever, let's just scrap that back for the cloth. And that horde is basically here, so we might as well head over to the horde base. Uh, once we get a fresh start on the day, we'll head over and try and do that whole POI before we call it a day. But I do want to make these episodes a little bit shorter. Last time we did five days, so it was like 50 minutes. And by the time I edited it all down, it was like, I think it was like a 30 minute episode. Uh, which is just a little bit longer than I wanted. I'm shooting from closer to 20 minutes. So we're going to go for one less day moving forward and see how that feels. Let's get that repaired, make sure all of our guns are loaded. Try and blast through this horde real quick. And all of that being said, I am sorry if I sound a little bit tired and out of it today. I had have had a very long week at work so far. It is now Thursday, and every day this week has just been kind of a bitch. Not... Not a bad week, just just a very long week. You know how it is? And, uh, oh, damn, they are busting through stuff. Well, I guess we could hit them in the ankles if we were so inclined. We are almost out of blunderbuss ammo as well. Oof, that's just taking a lot of damage. Those bars are holding up nicely, though. They're quite a bit tougher than the blocks themselves. Oh, God, get out of here. Stay on your side of the fence, sir. All right, well, we can see that this horde base isn't going to hold up forever. It is starting to uh, show its weaknesses. Uh, but we can, now that that block is broken, we can reinforce this with regular cobblestone, which is going to be stronger. And we could turn it into concrete at some point. Uh, we need forged, forged iron to repair that. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, yeah, kind of kind of tired, and I don't like to record 
when I'm tired or stressed out or anything like that, just because I think it affects the quality of the, the commentary and the gameplay. But I haven't had anything to edit for the past two days, so I'm like, shit, I need to record regardless of how I'm feeling. So I do apologize if I'm a little out of it. Uh, but God, today, today, I've got a story for you, man. So I'm an electrician, right? I do electrical work and uh, residential. So typically I work on people's houses. Well, uh, we got a job to do some work on like an old 1850s school that was built in my town. It was probably like the first school back when the town was founded, something like that. It's just like one of those big old school one bedroom schoolhouses. And it has a crawl space underneath, um, underneath the floor. Uh, so you can like get down there and run wires and stuff if you need to, which is nice. It's, you know, you want that. So uh, they added some AC units and I have to crawl under there and run some wires from the main panel over to the new AC units, which is, you know, involves crawling around under a 150 year old house. And it's, you know, it's pretty gross down there, uh, which is normal. That's just, you know, part of being an electrician is you got to deal with crawling in nasty places, nasty attics, under floors. That's just part of the job sometimes, which is fine. You know, you're crawling through like old cobwebs and daddy long legs everywhere, shit like that. And that's all good. You know, I've, I've accepted that that is part of my life. We've got a hunting knife there. That's pretty cool. Let's bring that down to the bar. Better than our bone knife, most likely. So, I'm crawling around under this house for a couple hours, right? And, uh, I get towards the end and I realize there's actually two sections underneath this house. And I've just been crawling around in the first one. So I find a little, like, one 12 inch by 12 inch hole that goes into the other section. And, you know, trying to crawl into a 12 by 12 hole is pretty difficult. Like, I'm not a rat. <laughs> uh, so, but I, I'm, I'm done, you know, by this point. I'm like, fuck it. I want to get home. Let's just get in here, get this last bit of the wire pulled, and go. So I stick my head into the hole and start to crawl in. Cobwebs all up in my face as usual. And I go to brush them aside, and they're not cobwebs. They are Black Widow webs. And if you've ever touched Black Widow spider silk, you can tell the difference. It feels really, really strong. Like, almost like you're brushing, like, fishing line or something, as opposed to just little threads. And I'm like, oh god, Black Widow. So I duck out of there immediately. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go here. I guess through here? So I immediately pull my head out and, you know, start shining my light in there looking around. And lo and behold, big ass Black Widows all over the place. So I'm like, fuck, man. I have to go in there. Like, <laughs> so after sitting there and just hating my life for a few minutes, I decide to go get some bug spray out of my truck. And I don't, you know, I don't like to kill stuff. Even Black Widows, like, you know, they're not doing anything wrong. They're just spiders. You know, they're just living their spider life. It's not their fault. They're gross and dangerous. But uh, in this case, you know, I got to do what I got to do. So am I supposed to go out the window or something here? This place is confusing me. Oh, yeah, it's probably... Is it here? Yes. Oh, God. Damn it. All right. Let's head back up and around. But I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. Whoa. Hi, buddy. So, yeah, I get some bug spray out. And I, I just stick my hand in the hole and just start spraying like crazy. Just pointed it up and just went fucking nuts with it for like two minutes. And uh, eventually, a couple of fat, fat, thick girl black widows, like the size of the palm of my hand, fall down onto the ground. And I'm like, oh my god, those would have been literally right above my back and the back of my neck and my head when I crawled in there. So sadly, I had to squash them just because... You know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Um, but then beyond that, it's like, I still got to go in here. And those weren't the only Black Widows. Those were just the ones near the entrance. So yeah, I sat there for about 20 minutes, just hating my life. And eventually I just said, fuck it. I've, I've got to get this over with. I just climbed in there as fast as I could. I didn't look up. If, I, if there was webs in front of me, I just like went around the webs. And uh, got over where I needed to go, shoved the wire out the hole. And there was, of course, there was a Black Widow right next to the hole where I had to push the wire through. And I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god, this is fucking awful. But I did it, and 
it was probably the most stressful underhouse crawl I've ever had to do. But I did it, and I'm proud of myself, and it was awful. And uh, anyways, that was my day. But back to Seven Days to Die. This place is interesting. We're not making great progress, and I haven't been paying super close attention to what I'm doing. But can I get cloth from this? No. Bummer. We really need some cloth. Speaking of cloth, I can break that purse and get a little cloth there. All right, a little bit of inventory management looking much better. Let's keep moving. We are definitely going to be fighting a horde in here, so I don't know how that's going to go, but we're just going to have to figure it out when it gets here. What's up, businessman? More desk chairs. I don't mind having the leather. Some shades we can sell. And, oh, damn. I forgot. I wanted to head over to the trader first thing yesterday to check in Jen's inventory before she resets, but that's okay. Uh, we're just going to have to miss it sometimes. There's just too much too much going on too fast to try and visit the trader every single rotation. Whoa, sneaky boy. Trying to scare me. I think we can take get some cloth out of this. Yes, very nice. Right, that horde is going to be here soon. We really need to find a defensible location. Five duct tape there. That was a good find. You know what? I think we're actually on street level. I thought we were up a little bit higher than that, but I guess we're not. I think this room is going to be where we have to hold it down. Take these chairs for the wood. See if there's anything else in here I can get. And what's the situation in here? Whoa! Hi, thick. You bastard. Anything else? Give me that cloth. And they're probably banging on that back door over there, which is just fine. It'll take them a minute to get through that. Alright, let's get the bus loaded up. Do we want to do a block or a hatch? Let's, uh, let's just do a block. And we picked up some cobblestone a second ago, so we can upgrade this to cobble, which is very good. And it looks like we got uh, unreinforceable cobble walls, which is also very good. This is actually a great room to fight in. That worked out really well. Let's just beat these girls up and keep our weapon repaired. Man, it would be nice to put some points into sexual Tyrannosaurus so we can start getting more stamina back. We need level 5. Let's put one point into strength and go for rank 3 of sexual Tyrannosaurus. And then we need to catch up on Pummel Pete. But we're now going to get 20 stamina back for Killing Blow, which is going to help us sustain melee combat for quite a bit longer. And shit, was that it already? I hear more footsteps outside, but we just gotta keep moving. We can't just stand around asking questions. We got a shotgun messiah crate in here, that's pretty cool. Let's bust into this bad boy. Ooh, level 3 blunderbuss and a bunch of blunderbuss ammo, that's very cool. We've almost got enough cloth. We just need like four more pieces. Ooh, I think we're in the crack of book now. Hopefully we find some good recipes in here. Learn how to harvest brass from doors. That's always a really good one. Brass being one of those semi-finite resources in the game. And a college jacket. That is an awesome, awesome find. We didn't have an overcoat yet. And we need one so we can uh, put a pocket mod in it. And that is the one I like the most. So that's a great find. Another crack of a crate. Come on, big money. Uh, cooling mesh schematic? Sure. Alright, who's in here? Got a cheerleader. Alright, I think we're good. Let's check all of these bookshelves. Looks like we got a friend at the back door over there, but I'm just gonna let him do his thing. If he gets to us, more power to him. We can deal with that, no problem. Uh, no luck with these books so far. Just a bunch of paper, which is fine. I'll actually hang on to the paper. We can use it to make shotgun shells at some point. So let us head upstairs and see what else we got. Anybody behind the counter? Of course there is. Thick you sneaky boy. Got some food up on top of the fridge. Two honey, that's awesome. Oh, eight Mega Crush. That is really, really cool. Mega Crush increases your movement speed pretty drastically. So that's going to be very helpful with just getting around town. I'm actually going to bring those down to the action bar for right now. And uh, 
make sure that we're utilizing those as often as possible. Is this where we came from? No, this is not where we came from. We came from down there. So we got the upper levels to loot now, I suppose. Ooh, and this chair is going to give us the cloth that we need to get those pocket mods crafting. Let's get three of those bad mamma jammas. Let's see what we got in here. Come on. I know I'm not alone here. Really? No one? How interesting. Let's bust into this Shamway Foods crate. Oh! 14 paper. Oops, I wanted to loot that, not break it. Oh, hidden shotgun messiah crate, hell yeah. More ammunition. Won't complain about that. Looks like our mods are finishing up and they do not stack, so we need to get those equipped. Still got fiber legs. Fiber gloves, oh my gosh. Oh, we're so janky. Uh, let's throw that last one onto our shirt. There we go. Ooh, level 4 scrap leg armor. Let's throw those bad boys on. That's much, much better than the nothing that we had. Man, there is a lot of noise coming from downstairs. Oh, hi. I guess you guys made it here. How nice of you. What's up, dude? Oh! Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, uh, we should probably deal with this, right? So... How is gonna be my first question. We have a lot of blunderbuss ammo again, which is great. We're just gonna have to make this happen. Just jumped out the window. What a nut. Right, we can do this. We can do this on foot. We're that good. We are that good. That's right. Stay down, you dickheads. All right, we are about to have another horde on our hands, but I think, you know, we're upstairs. They can't really get to us easily. They're going to have to beat through a bunch of shit. So let's just keep moving, just kind of ignore it for the time being, and, uh, you know, if they get to us, we'll try and bottleneck them and just take care of them like that. Whoa! You really came out of there swinging, didn't you, sweetheart? Anybody else? Jeez, stop doing that, it's terrifying! Yeah, got me all nervous now. Whoa! Barely caught him. Hi, that's a white. Oh my god. Is that a feral white? <sighs> Pretty sure that was a feral white. I, I barely got a look at his eyes, but what the fuck is a feral white doing here? He must be just part of the POI built in. So we should not be having them at this game stage. Yikes. Uh, level 5 padded boots. That's slightly better than what we had. I guess I'll take it. Find more junk and loot. Sounds good to me. Meld into the shadows and sneak 5% better at night. Uh, technically useless, but you know what? I'm going to read it anyways because it sounds cool. Ooh, got some shotgun shells and some glue. That's excellente. I still haven't heard anything from the horde. Let's just close that door. I guess we're just going to skip the horde tonight. I mean, I'd love to fight them, but I don't think we're going to have time. I had a feeling that floor was going to give out. So let's just keep on moving. Probably got some friends up here with us. Hello? Huh. So how are we supposed to get up there? Do we just have to pull our way up there? I guess that's what we'll do then. Alright. We are up all the way on top. Hi, friends. Let's do this. Easy. Oh, God, I missed. We're good. We're good. We're good. Took one hit. We're fine. Very good. Uh, some steel. I'll take that. What else do we got? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Is this going to collapse? I'm gonna assume it's gonna collapse. Ah! Oh god, fucking dog. 
little bastard. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. Fuck. Shit. Out of stamina. Weapons broken. Really bad time to have your weapon break. Oh god. Is this how it ends? No. Fucking reload faster, you piece of shit. Let's take a painkiller. Oh god, my weapon is broken. We are bleeding. Are we gonna survive? That is the question. Do I have a bandage? I do not have a bandage. Pray. <gasps> Two hit points. Holy shit. Uh, that was not good. But you know what? We're alive. Let's, uh, let's just eat some food, try and get some health back. This does give us a little bit of healing. Wow, 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 wow. What a shitty time to have your weapon break. I also should have retreated a lot sooner than I did. I just kind of stood there and panicked and did nothing. Um, I feel like we're skipping stuff at this point, but this place is confusing. So we are just going to keep moving, and there is the main loot. Sweet holla fucking Luya. Splint. Fortunately, I cannot use the splint. I will try to take those, though. Ooh, we got a Hunter mod and a bunch of 7.62. That's pretty cool. For the time being, let's just put that Hunter mod on our shotgun. Yeah. Level 5 shovel, I'll take it. Bunch more spam, more honey, all good stuff. What do we got in the big bag? Uh, some parts we can sell, some ammo we can eventually use. Gonna eat these peas to get a little bit more health back. Open up a little bit more room. Let's take those spear parts and then check the big chest. Uh, those legs are not going to be an upgrade. We could sell them. We have a scope mod times four. That's pretty cool. Uh, we are so short on space. I'm just going to scrap the legs. Take the mod. And... Uh, I mean, I guess we could use that bat. Uh, I switched us over to the bat. Uh, that might have been a mistake, though, because this takes repair kits, and uh, I don't have any repair kits. How <laughs> can I get down here? I think yes. <sighs> Ooh, that may have been foolish. All right, let's eat some honey, cure this infection. Maybe if we eat two, it'll cure the whole thing. If not, we'll have to come back and have a little bit more. Uh, we've got... Is that an hour-long abrasion? Damn. I really, really need some, uh, some bandages. Maybe, I think, after the horde tonight, we'll head over to the trader and, uh, sell all the shit we've been collecting, and hopefully she'll have some bandages or something. All right, we got two skill points. Let's throw those into Hummel Pete. And then I think I'm actually going to craft a wooden club. Uh, I'm not liking the idea of the baseball bat just yet, it's, and it's only a level 2, but I don't want to have to worry about repair kits. So we are just going to throw that back in there, and then maybe we'll take this hunter mod out of our shotgun, throw it into our club just so we can maximize our club damage right now. If we can get to a point where, we're, where we are one-shotting basic zombies, that will be pretty significant. Oh, what the hell? Where's he going? That's freaky. Uh, let's head over to... Oh, God! Are they stuck on the wall? Hey, assholes! <laughs> that may have been foolish. We'll find out. Hi, guys. Give me the XP. I want it. Oh my god, I can't power attack because my fucking arm is sprained. That's annoying. Well, we can't power attack for two minutes, but we'll just have to get by with regular attacks. We're starting to get dogs. That's kind of unfortunate, but also kind of exciting. A 
Hey, we got him. All right, that's good. All right, we survived yet another night. We got two skill points there. Just some water there. That's fine. Let's see if we can get this patched back up. And, oh, wow, we actually have a lot more iron than I thought. I'm not sure where all that came from, but 644, that's going to last us for a while. Uh, let me decide quickly where we want to put these points. All right, we're going to throw one into Flurry of Blows. And then I'm either tempted to go further into Perception. I would love to get Demolitions Expert and start using Pipe Bombs, although we don't really have a base where we can utilize them very well. I think we're just going to throw another point into Fortitude. I'd like to get... Rank 2 of Rule 1 Cardio, Healing Factor, and Pain Tolerance. Just because we are getting beaten up a lot. Just because it's really hard not to play bad <laughs> when you're playing on these conditions. Chaos Mode is a real bitch. Uh, it's day 10, so I think we're going to call this episode here. But I'm going to record another four episodes, and uh, you guys can look forward to that next time. And uh, we'll head over to the Trader next episode. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I love your faces, and I will see you here next time. Bye.